The awkwardness of this week's Music Monday will be too damn high with Lehigh's 1234. Okay, so as I mentioned in the K-pop charts this past weekend, I wasn't sure, but I was pretty sure that I was Lehigh's former teacher. I did some more research over the weekend, and now I'm 100% sure. She used to be my student. It is official. In the video here, she says she's from a school I used to teach in two years ago. And the footage shows a lot of the students that I remember teaching in the same classrooms that I remember. So yes, she was my former student. If you came here to hear me tell you awkward stories about her, I'm going to save that for the end of Music Monday. For now, I gotta do my review of the song and video, but I'm gonna feel really awkward saying anything bad about her. Hi, Lee. Hi. I didn't teach you before, so I don't feel the awkwardness level that my husband husband does. <laughs> Prepare for an onslaught of lame jokes and awkward skits based off of tiny, irrelevant observations. But first, let me clearly and unbiasedly say that this is a great song. We keep it real here at Ichi Kimchi and won't let our personal connections loosen. Not really connected at all. Get in the way of us preaching the truth. Fact is, Lee High is undeniably awesome at singing with a freaking phenomenal voice and fantastic vocal range. And YG debuted with a song for her that's really unlike anything they regularly produce and also unlike anything in K-pop. It's really soulful and has an Amy Winehouse feel to it minus all oh, that substance abuse. Our only problem with the video is that there's this inverse relationship happening here. Lehigh is as good at singing as she is as bad at acting. Like, whoa. And I don't want to be too harsh on her because we know this is her first music video and she's still quite young. I think she's around 16 and she will get better over time and learn to relax in her music videos. In fact, we saw her live performance and it was so much better. But whoever YG sent as her acting coach for the music video needs to be replaced. In fact, we don't even think she needed to act in her music video. Her voice is amazing enough, they could have just debuted her as a singer. Singing into like a mic and looking classy and sassy while backup dancers are like flailing in the background. That whole like walking and expressing emotions while moving her lips and singing thing didn't work out too well. She barely opens up her mouth when she moves her lips when she sings. Wait, why is that so familiar? Okay, I have a theory about this. We noticed that a couple of people in YG such as Tom and Park Bomb and now Lehigh don't really move their mouths in music videos. This is a distinctly YG thing. My guess why, the YG label has learned to notice the symptoms of placid jaw syndrome. That horrible disease which we documented extensively in our 4 minute volume up video. YG in turn is doing their best to prevent catching this disease by never opening their mouths. Sounds like a credible theory to me. Or maybe they're just really good at ventriloquism. I'm really proud of you, E. Hai. -E. You did a great job on your music video. Wow, really? Thanks, Toppa. I couldn't have done it without your guidance. I really saw that my training shone through in your acting. It was very profound. Really? Wow. I mean, any recommendations from you? Anything I can do to improve? If anything, I found that you're a. Uh... Huh? Huh? What was I saying? Oh yeah. Did I tell you about my new cologne? It's called Be On Top. Be On Top. Made by men. For men. Well, not for getting men, but if you want to get men, that is okay. I'm okay with that if you are okay with that. It's also for picking up woman. Hey, YG, we talked about this last time with your 21 video. Whoever edits your music videos, I really think you need to fire them because the dubbing is always really irritatingly and distractingly off. And the dubbing being off is not any of the artist's fault. So, you know, we love you, but if you could just fix that, that would be, that would be super. As for the English of the song, I unbiasedly give Lee High the highest marks anyone has ever received on a Music Monday. 9,423 out of 5. Because I used to teach her English and as a result this score is more of a reflection of my abilities as a teacher than an actual rating of the English of the song. One thing I will say about the English though, good lord, did you see that sign at the back at the beginning of the video? It reads, ahem, if you don't mean what you say, shut the f*** up. Good lord! Let the record show that I personally never taught Lee High that kind of language in class. 
Good morning, class. Go, oh, God, this. And that, boys and girls, is how you say good morning in Polish. Chyba tego jest jak oni mówią, że dobre po koreańsku. Last week's showdown, we asked you which videos, womanly, powerful message you preferred. Miss A's I Don't Need a Man or Four Minutes What a Girl Wants. And oh boy, did Miss A ever win with something like 95% of the votes. For this week's showdown, we ask you who is the best actor in YG? Lee High in 1234 or Park Bum and Don't Cry? Both quite lacking the boom in their boom shakalakas. Leave your emotionless votes in the emotionless comments who will announce the emotionless winner next week. Also, if there's a video you want to see us do for next week's Music Monday, put in your votes at ichikimchi.com slash kpop charts. Whoever is in first place Saturday midnight will review, so get voting. Lastly, don't forget to like and favor this video and to subscribe for more Music Mondays. Take it away. Oh wait, I forgot to tell you that super awkward story of Lee High in class. Oh boy, this one is a real doozy. Okay, so one day in class, Lee High stands up to speak in front of everyone.